Have you ever felt that the default spawn times for your Rust server are just too long? Meaning your attack heli isn't coming out as often as you think it should, or your cargo ship isn't spawning as quickly as you think it should. Well, I'm going to show you guys a plugin today that's going to make those changes for you, and you can fine tune the timing of all of those events to whatever it is that your heart desires. And we're going to get into it right after my really quick intro. All right, welcome to another video from Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you all the tips and tricks to owning and operating your own successful Rust server. So I get a lot of requests from my viewers to explain different plugins or show, show you guys how to do certain things, whatever. I get a lot of requests and I appreciate that. I really do. And keep them coming. Anytime you want to see something, make sure you write it down in one of the comment sections on any one of the videos. I get notified as soon as you do, and I will respond with either a suggestion or I will respond with a video. Either way, keep them coming. I appreciate it. A little bit of history on this particular request though. The viewer asked if there was a way to increase how often the cargo ship spawned. When the request first came in, I didn't exactly know how to go about teaching him how to do this. So I did a lot of research. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make this happen for this viewer. I even did a tutorial on how to install and use a plugin called Timed Execute. I'll put a card right there uh, because I knew that I was going to, or I thought I was going to use that plugin to control when the cargo ship and the attack heli and the CH-47 all spawned on the server. And then at the very last minute, right before I was about to start recording this video, I found another plugin that makes it all so much easier. So instead of doing it the complicated way using timed execute and various commands and various console commands, I'm going to just show you guys this one simple plugin and it's going to take care of everything that was asked for from this viewer. So of course the plugin that I'm talking about is called timed events and it's available from the UMod website. I'll post a link for it down in the description of the video. If this is your first time installing a plugin, make sure you check out my video in the top right hand corner there. It goes over in detail how to install plugins. I'm just going to do this real quick and skip over it during my editing of this video. Uh, so I'm not actually going to show you the installation of the plugin, but check out the video that I posted on the YouTube card to go over any of the details that you might miss because I'm going to skip over it. So the very first time you install this plugin called timed events, you're going to see this red error come up on the screen. It says configuration file is corrupt or not exist, which is really good English. It means that the config file hasn't been generated yet and the plugin will automatically generate one for you. So let's dive in and have a look at what that config file actually looks like. All right. So this is what our default config file looks like for timed events. As you can see, it's broken down into categories. We've got the cargo plane, the patrol heli, the Bradley, the CH-47, as well as the cargo ship. And then we've got settings for each one of those things. I'm gonna go through uh, line by line on just on one of these settings because, they, it, because these settings are exactly the same on all five different events. So looking at the cargo plane settings, the first option is disable default spawns. So, what this does is it makes it so that your server is no longer controlling when the cargo plane is spawned. It's just purely going to be controlled by this plugin. And that's fine. You can you can leave it default at false if you want, if you want to end up having both events. So the server event as well as the plugin event, that's fine. You can have both. But if you don't want to have that happen, if, if you want it to feel more original, you can just make this true and that will disable the, the server from spawning in this event and it will just be controlled by the plugin itself. The next line is minimal respawn time in seconds and default is at 3600 seconds. The 36 seconds equals one hour of real time. So every hour of real time, it's going to spawn the cargo plane. That's the minimum. You can also control the maximum amount of time. So from default, it's set to 7,200 seconds, which is two hours. So anywhere between one hour and two hours of real life time, it's going to spawn the cargo plane. The next line down is minimal amount that's, is, that's spawned by once. Um, this is not really good English here. Uh, basically, what they're saying is, is what's the minimum number of cargo planes that you want the server to spawn at one time? So if you want it to spawn five airdrops each time the plugin runs, then just change this number to five. 
But if you change this number to five, you want to change the maximum number uh, as well. So if you wanted to create a variation, let's say we wanted to spawn between five and 10 airdrops each time the plugin runs, we could do a minimum of five and a maximum of 10. And then the sixth option is the minimum number of players to be on the server before the plugin will actually create this event. So I've changed this from zero to one so that at least one player has to be on the server in order for this plugin to run. If you leave it at zero, it's going to do all of these events, whether there's anybody on the server or not, which is fine. You can leave it that way. That way, if somebody comes into your server and these events have already ran, they might come across an airdrop or they might come across a locked crate or something like that. But if you want to reduce the overhead on your server, you can have it at least one player needs to be on the server before this event is going to run. So let's break down the changes that we've made to the cargo plane. So assuming that there's at least one player on our server between every one and two hours, the, the plugin is going to spawn between five and 10 cargo planes. That's the changes that we've made in the plugin so far. And we can go through and do the exact same process with the other four events. The one thing that I would suggest maybe not making any changes to um, would be the Bradley. Um, of course you could, I guess, but you could end up with multiple Bradleys if the plugin were to run a couple of times over and somebody wasn't killing the Bradley in between, you could end up with multiple Bradleys, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it might look a little bit funny. And if somebody did come along and see five or six or 10 Bradleys at your launch site, they could get very rich very fast. So it's just something to think about. But the other four, um, you can kind of play around with these as much as you want. So like I said at the beginning, I'm not gonna go through each individual setting for each individual event. But what I'm gonna do right now, now that I've kind of explained how everything works is, I'm gonna go through all of these events and I'm going to create some chaos on my test server so that you can see that this is actually working and I'll show you the results of what the plugin is doing. Okay, so what I've done here is I've changed the parameters of this plugin to a ridiculous amount. On all five of these different events, I've changed the timing parameters to between 10 and 20 seconds. So between 10 and 20 seconds, every 10 seconds, the server is going to run and spawn these, these five events. So it's gonna get chaotic. I'll give you that warning right now. Um, the sound might go a little bit funny and it might actually lag the server out because we're probably gonna end up with like 20 cargo ships and 20 CH-47s and 20 of everything in a matter of minutes. So I'm gonna reload the plugin, I'm gonna hop into the server and I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like and it's gonna be funny. All right, here we are in our test server and I'm just about to reload the plugin and we're gonna see the chaos that ensues here in just one second. So let's check it out. All right, so the plugin has been reloaded and I see in my console that it's working fine. And I can actually already hear, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that or not, but I can hear things happening. So let's see if we can't find some cargo planes or attack helis. Actually, I know where we'll go. We'll go out to one of the oil rigs because that's where all the CHs are gonna go. All right, so here we are flying up in the sky here. We've already got two planes coming in. Oh, three planes. There's another one off in the distance there. Oh, here's another plane. So as you can see, this takes effect very, very quickly and uh, it can cause some chaos right away. I hear a couple of attack helis. I'll see if I can find them too. But I do want to go out to the oil rig because that's where all the CHs are going to go. As you can see here, we're just flying out in the ocean here. We've already got two cargo ships. Uh, there's another attack heli. Oh, there's another cargo ship off on the right there. We're going to get away from that guy because he's just going to shoot at us. As you can see on the map here, we've got, we've got cargo ships everywhere. Like, just everywhere. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, we're going to head over to the large oil rig. All right, so here we are over at our oil rig. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three four, five, six, seven, at least seven CH-47s all cruising around this oil rig. And 
And they don't like me being here, so they're shooting at me. Hopefully that muted that, or reduced that sound. Nobody needs that kind of volume. And because we have so many CH-47s up here right now, uh, they are going to crash into each other. I want to, uh, I actually want to see it happen so we have it on video. As you can see, like, the stress that this is putting on my test server right now, uh, you can already sense the lagging that's happening. Happening. All right, so there we go. We just had, uh, I think that was actually three CH-47s crashing into each other. And that'll just keep happening. I'm a little bit surprised to not see a bunch of uh, locked crates all over the deck of the rig. Oh, I see. They're down in the water. So when the CHs crash into each other, they still drop their, their locked crate, but they're down in the water. Oh, our poor little scientists are all dead laying in the water. Rip scientists. And heading back into land here, we can see that our airdrops are coming in. There's plenty of them. Oh man, you can see them all over my screen. There's, geez, I don't know, 20 or 30 or 40 of them all on the screen there. There's tons of airdrops in the air right now. Anyway, so this process that we've set up here is very, very resource heavy on our server. It's It'll probably take it to the point of crashing eventually. So I'm actually gonna shut it down right now. All right, so as you can see, a very successful uh, test run of timed events. Obviously, you wouldn't want to make those parameters so extreme on your server. It'll make it unplayable, but it does give you the ability to control when you want these events to start or how often you want them to start. So you would use this plugin in, a, in two specific situations. A, you either think that the default event spawning from your server is not soon enough or if you have a plugin that automatically skips throughout the night or let's say you have your time of day frozen to a specific time none of these events are actually going to happen automatically so that's why one of these plugins so timed events would be good to use in both of those two scenarios either it's not happening soon enough or you have a plugin that's preventing the natural process of time going through on your server such as skip night vote or day vote or whatever there's a couple of different plugins out there that will modify how the clock is running on your server all right that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did throw me a thumbs up i super appreciate it if you want to see more content just like this make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bells and as always if you guys want to see anything at all rust related make sure you put comments down below and i will respond with either a comment or I'll make another video that will answer your question. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.